Well, you can see Hosanna is up and moving all of a sudden. He's changed his demeanor quickly, and that's because a herd of Impala is just on the other side of Twin Dam's wall at the moment. So they're walking slowly in his direction, and he's just trying to give himself a little height just to see over the wall. And once they start coming, you can actually see them. They're right in front of me here, and they're walking straight towards where he is. If he sits tight and is clever about what he does and patient, he might just have a shot here. You can see the Impalas are right there, and so they're slowly but surely walking. Is that Impala? got a bone in its mouth it does too so it's all happening there we go that's osteophagia that's being practiced there so the impalas will do this from time to time it's a way of getting calcium so they pick up bones you see it's in giraffe and antelopes and all of the others which is fantastic news so it's really cool to see when they do that and and it's amazing to watch them kind of sucking on the bones to gain that calcium that they don't get in their diets but i'm hoping what these impalas are going to do is just walk straight up the bank towards him and if Osana just lies flat as they come over that bank he's going to be in prime position to launch an attack and grab them so we might see Hosanna in an active hunt which is going to be absolutely insane so if he's clever about this he's got the perfect perfect place to hunt from i was saying earlier that tundams provides opportunities and if the impalas approach from this side and they come up over the road he's going to be in a position where they're going to come over the bank and they're not going to see him and he can launch an attack from there but what he's got to make sure is that he keeps his head down and doesn't get spotted you see look he's going down he's using the bank he knows those impalas are slowly going to graze their way towards the north well the western side it's the eastern side of the dam wall and they're going to come over and around towards the water and he's in prime position to be able to then grab them so he has got the best chance possible there you can see him he's just coming up on the other side now so sana just stay where you are don't move from there there we go see him there now he just needs to lie dead flat there and wait the impalas will walk straight to him if he sits where he is now he is in prime 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 position to be in in fact his best chance is actually if he just goes into a little thicket behind him he can, just jumps into there and just sits dead tight these impalas are going to come over this wall straight towards him he just needs to be patient and needs to wait and keep his head down because otherwise those impalas are going to spot him see look there we go he's just repositioning himself no stay there don't go up the wall stay down there we go that's perfect but look at him he's look at how low to the ground look at that isn't that incredible he's doing the leopard crawl it is my favorite thing to see from a leopard is when they crawl like that and he is in the best possible light that we could ask for how cool is this look he's just checking over the damn wall well done with Sina. you are slowly but surely working things out that's for sure now the other good bit of good news is Tumba is just north of us as well. He's not far away. Where I was tracking him this morning, they've just picked him up now. I asked the guys to have a look on their way and they've just found him. So he's also not far away. So if Hosanna does go south, because he is facing south now, at least we will have a second leopard this afternoon, which is fantastic. Look at this. He's crawling straight towards us. That is beyond epic. <laughs> I have always wanted to see that when they crawl but especially straight towards me it is one of those moments that i've always wanted to watch how cool is that you see how low down to the ground he is you are such a clever boy well done now i'm staying here because i don't yeah the impala is coming straight towards him but it's going to see him he's right out in the open sonny you need to turn and go back down my boy otherwise you're going to be spotted there is an impala just to his right see he's trying to go back now and he's going to lay as low as possible and hope that this impala is not going to see him you're going to see the impala coming into the frame any second now there it is is that not ridiculous guys how cool is that that is as cool as it gets when it comes to seeing the two of them now I wonder if he's going to explode out from there. The Impalas haven't seen him yet. They, if they look to the left, they're going to spot him, surely. He's right out in the open. Nope, that Impala hasn't seen him. There's another Impala that's looking in his direction. Look, you see that Impala? He's just turned in his direction, but they haven't seen him. That's ridiculous. It is so cool to see. Look how flat he is and just goes to show that they're camouflage. And if he's still like that, he doesn't get a problem. But if you see if he had waited where he was... It, right where he was standing is where they have crossed over it's exactly where he should have waited 
but that Impala is looking at him. Look at the light. It doesn't even get better than that. But hopefully he's going to run out at the last one. I think he's waiting for the smallest one, which is going to come over now. It's the youngest of the Impalas. is a much smaller individual that is right at the back. And that's going to be the one that I think he might have a go at. But look at that. Amazing. We are being spoiled, that's for sure. I wonder if he's going to get this right. Look. Look, look, the Impala's walking closer. This wants to investigate what's going on. Hassan is lying flat. Look at that. Oh, there we go. You see, they've seen him now. They think it's a leopard. They're not 100% sure, but he's lost that advantage now. Yes, that Impala's seen him. It's not 100% sure, but it's seen that there's something lying on this wall that looks leopardy. Now you might be wondering why would this Impala walk closer? Well, because it's making 100% sure. It knows also at that distance it can still outrun that leopard. So it's just checking. It's a pity that that Impala spotted it because he was going for the last one. Yeah, this Impala is definitely knows something's not right, but it can't put a finger on it. It sees this thing and is it, it because it's not moving. It's not 100% sure, but look at that. How crazy is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> we have a showdown between Impalas and Leopard. There goes the little one, and that's the one he was hunting. I'm pretty sure of it. He was trying to go after that little one. The rest of the herd is now coming up, and his chance of getting these guys is all but gone now, I'm afraid. As much as it looks really cool, he's unfortunately blown his chance to then catch these guys had he lay where he was originally on the other side of the wall and just waited he would have been perfectly positioned and he really would have gotten it right but you can see they're shouting at him now they're, they're making a lot more noise than they were earlier so they've definitely spotted him and there goes the opportunity you can see they're now drifting away a little bit further and you'll find Hosanna's face will pop up just now how cool is that though? Our little boy is getting there slowly. A little mistake in that he went on the wrong side of those impalas and came onto the wall. If he had stayed down behind the wall, he would have had them literally tramping over the top of him. So he's just unfortunately missed it that way. But it's the way it goes and he'll learn from that. He's now learned, okay, hang on, these impalas do move in this direction and they do hunt in, I mean, do walk in a certain way to water, but now they're moving off. He's just going to lie where he is and just rest and... Well done though, boy, you did a good job. Super patient. And look, his, his head is still down. He knows that he's probably... His head is still down and he's still taking it easy. I think I'm going to take off this eye patch though because I can't see a, a single thing at this stage. I'm battling to even see what's going on, so I need to remove my eye patch because I can't really tell what's around me out of my right side. So it's time to get rid of the eye patch. That was all very exciting. Oh no, eye patch is stuck to my face given that it is gaffer tape. You put it on the Impala, yes. If we had put a blinker on the Impala, maybe old Hosanna would have caught what his dinner. But close, very, very close. Well done, boy, you're getting there.